So the following video is another example of equilibrium and free body diagram examples. The main point is this, of this video is to explain to you how we convert a uniformly distributed load into a point load. Okay. So <coughs> initially, ignoring the following blue line in the middle, this one here, we have a uniformly distributed load, as you can see, this one over here. The uniformly distributed load is 2 kN per meter. We ignore this 12 kN point load for now, okay? The span of this uniformly distributed load is 6 meters long, okay? So how do we convert the following UDL into a point load? Well, simply, we just multiply the UDL by its span, and we get this as a point load. So what we do is we do 2 kN per meter times its length, which is 6 meters, and meter cancels out with a meter, so we end up with 12 kN. And technically, since we've converted this UDL into a point load, the point load lies exactly in the center of the UDL, and it's equal to 12 kN. Okay? So this is how we convert a UDL into a point load. Now imagine we have the following example in equilibrium and free body diagrams. Right? So we have the following simply supported beam. Okay? So we have a pin over here, and a roller over here. Right? Um... It cantilevers out on both sides by 2 meters each, so it's hanging outside 2 meters to the right and hanging outside 2 meters to the left on the left-hand side here. And at the end we have a clockwise 20 kN meter moment, 2 meters away from the left-hand support. Okay. So the first thing, um, we have to work out the reaction forces on this simply supported beam. Okay, so um, what, what happens is that the following span from the pin to the roller is exactly 4 meters 